Hi everyone, we are Tonsil Tech. My name is Sydney Quinton Cox, co-founder and CEO. I'm an OSU bioengineering alumni and damn does it feel good to be back in Oregon. I've spent the past three years working at startups in the Bay Area in pharma and 3D printed medical devices. And today I'm here to introduce you to a gross problem, tonsil stones. Tonsil stones kind of look like yellow nerds candy, except they form in the pits of your tonsils and are made up of calcified mucus, food, and bacteria. If you still have your tonsils, you could have tonsil stones too. After all, an estimated 10% of the US population does, which represents a $500 million market. Based on our customer interviews, 45% of people with tonsil stones have been severe enough to be removing them on a weekly basis. Some patients get tonsil stones a few times a year, while others have them reoccurring on a weekly basis, which is the market that we are specifically focusing on. Tonsil stones cause pungent sulfur smelling bad breath, which leads to reduced self-esteem in some patients, most notably in women. There is also discomfort from the feeling of a foreign object stuck in the tonsils. There is pain and frustration when removing the stones because people are using whatever they can get their hands on, none of which has been specifically designed for the purpose of removing tonsil stones from the soft tonsil tissue. To top it off, this issue is not adequately addressed by the medical community. At this point, patients looking for answers have two typical paths, searching online where they'll find tonsil stone support groups on Facebook and Reddit, sharing their disdain for tonsil stones, and also suggestions on what at-home options to try next. Then they can end or they can ask their primary care physician, one of the general practitioners we spoke to describes tonsil stones to her patients as little pearls and recommends gargling with salt water or pushing around with a toothbrush to try and remove them, both methods of which are not very effective, unfortunately. If patients are still frustrated with tonsil stones and the at-home removal process, then they can get a referral to an ENT who can discuss tonsillectomy options. Ear, nose, and throat doctors say tonsillectomies, the removal of tonsils, is the only 100% way to remove reoccurring tonsil stones. But having tonsil stones is not considered reason enough to have the painful procedure because the problem is often considered not as detrimental to the medical professionals as it is to the patients themselves. Tonsillectomies typically have a two-week recovery time after surgery, and patients need a caretaker to make sure and prevent the scabs from forming by making sure to wake up the patient every 30 minutes to drink water. If the scabs fall off and the wound starts bleeding, patients must be brought to the hospital with their head upside down to prevent suffocating on their own blood. We believe there should be a better removal option for tonsil stones so people don't feel like they have to take the extreme measure of getting a tonsillectomy for the embarrassment of their bad breath caused by tonsil stones. Now, 66% of people with tonsil stones have a negative experience and only 11% of people are happy with their current removal products, leaving large room for improvement. As you can see on the side, people are not using anything made for tonsils. Fingers can cause secondary infection, other tools are too sharp, and then on top of that, some are too small and can cause choking hazards. For example, we also have chopsticks and bobby pins and pens and pencils up there that people are using. So it's definitely all sorts of things people can get their hands on. And that's why we have launched Tonsil Tech, a medical device company to help remove tonsil stones. Our flagship product is an at-home handheld device to painlessly and effectively remove tonsil stones using our patent pending soft teardrop and twist technology, which is 3D printed in the United States. Now there are two types of solutions, both proactive and reactive. Proactive, such as TheraBreath, adds costly mouthwashes and sprays to your daily routine. Or you could try strict dietary changes, such as removing coffee, dairy, meat, and alcohol. But who really wants to do that? 
And then the other option is reactive, which allows for immediate removal, which is what we're focusing on. Because at the end of the day, when you've got a hot date, you need something to remove that stinky stone now. Unlike other repurposed tools marketed as tonsil stone removal devices on Amazon, such as earwax removers, water picks, and pimple poppers, our product is better because it is specifically designed for the soft tonsil tissue. This means no sharp parts causing lacerations or bleeding or small parts that can cause choking hazards. At home, tonsil stone removal is critical and has no dominant players in the market. Tonsil stones are $500 million per year untapped market, and we are determined to capture 20% in the next two years. Our TAM is 10% of the U.S. population, and we're specifically focusing on people who know they have tonsil stones and want to remove them, which we estimate is about one-third of people with tonsil stones. Our goal is to create an affordable solution for people with tonsil stones, since this can be a lifelong issue starting in the teenage years. Our go-to-market strategy is to start with direct-to-consumer sales on tonsiltech.com. Our starter kit includes a reactive tool, mirror light so you can see your tonsils, and travel pouch so you can take it with you on the go, all for just $34.99. Our first sales will be through our online tonsil tech.com uh, and then also through support groups as well such as on Facebook and Reddit. We will also be driving traffic to our website with targeted ads on Facebook, Google, and Instagram. In the future we'll work with medical professionals to have them recommend tonsil tech to their patients and eventually work to have our products in the over-the-counter section of your local pharmacy. For traction, we have done 30 interviews with people who have tonsil stones and six interviews with medical professionals, including ENTs, general practitioners, dentists, and dental hygienists. We have a working 3D printed prototype and are refining the visual and tactile design during our alpha tests planned for this quarter. We're continuing our customer discovery process and focusing on medical professionals. We filed as an Oregon C Corp and have filed our provisional patent. We are also working on confirming our FDA 510K exempt class one pathway and corresponding product code. Again, at-home tonsil stone removal is critical and has no dominant players in the market. The Tonsil Tech team is prepared to capture this market because of our CMO, Daniel, who's an experienced full stack digital marketer who develops successful multi-channel marketing strategies from scratch. And our CTO, Jesse, is working on our next product, which is a high end offering. Our partnership asks of the Oregon Bio Conference include an FDA consultant and ENT who are interested in being on our advisory board. If you or someone you know would be a great fit, please have them reach out to us at tonsiltech.com. We greatly appreciate the support and look forward to hearing from you. Now, if you or someone you know has tonsil stones, please reach out to us at tonsiltech.com to join our waitlist or participate in an interview. And remember, at Tonsil Tech, we are tonsil stone sufferers, creating solutions for other tonsil stone sufferers. Thank you.